piece of road and uh, we've been remarking how the car in front of us had been leaving some pretty unusual sort of marks. We just went wide on this corner and uh, the rear hit the bank then it spun around the front of the bank and it just tipped gently over. But by that stage the front steering had pretty well gone. And that's where we stayed, we blocked the road and of course the stage to be cancelled. So yep, these things happen. Simon, you've uh, ended up having a fairly good day but you don't think it's down to your driving entirely. Well, no, I'm, I'm, I was there obviously four years ago and uh, we'd done um, some silly things and went off pushing a little bit hard, so I came with the attitude this time. I was never going to let go contact with the uh, front runners, but my plan was never to push as hard to keep, you know, to try and win the rally. So, uh, and we, we've just slowly moved forward all the time. They keep dropping off. Obviously, a few of the lads that have, uh, were out earlier on in the rally are now coming back. So we just got to keep them at bay and just keep uh, doing what we're doing more of. So uh, yeah, it's working. It's working really well. Oh, it was a difficult day today. Banks Peninsula is a place to be respected, so we took it easy there. Uh, there was incredibly thick gravel over there, especially in places. And the second stage, I went off on a corner and bent the steering. So we limped through the stage. Vince also had a drama in there and lost a wee bit of time at the end, so that um, meant I didn't lose as much as I could have. And then the second last, or the last stage on the peninsula coming down to the Little River, we punctured. So we drove the last three or four k's with a, a flat rear, so we lost quite a bit of time there as well. Everything felt right this morning, and, and the stages, I, well, last time when we were down here, we had a good run on those, so I thought, right, well, we'll make those ones the, the ones to have a crack at, and, and it's worked out pretty well. So end of day four, and it's been a fairly eventful day too. We're in Timaru, we're roughly halfway through the event. And what happened today is Brent Rawstrand had a big off. They say they'll have it repaired and back overnight, but he's lost his place in the interim. And so has Jeff Judd lost first place to Vince Bristow, who ran further down the order with a late start and has had swept roads all day. Only four seconds in that between first and second. And Dave Strong still leading in the challenge. We head for Dunedin tomorrow, another long day and probably a high attrition rate again.